Hey everybody, how do? So I've been asked to do a review of this here Maxpedition Spartan. I guess you would call it maybe a Generation 2 Spartan wallet. And I am more than happy to oblige. Uh, as some of you know, any of you who have watched my 2010 Christmas presents video, you'll see that I received this at Christmas. And let me start off by saying that Maxpedition does not offer this particular version of the Spartan wallet on its website for sale yet. I received this in a order that I placed at Christmas time for placing a $75 order. This was a free gift, which is pretty good because the normal Spartan wallet goes for about 20 bucks. So I got a roller here. Let me give you some measurements. Side to side, we're looking at, call it five inches. This way, three and a half. And at its thickest point here, I'm gonna call that a half inch. Now some specifics here, of course, it is Maxpedition. It is made of the 1000 denier water and abrasion resistant lightweight ballistic nylon. It has the DuPont Teflon fabric protector for grime resistance. It also has the triple polyurethane coated for water resistance and has the high tensile strength nylon thread which is double stitched at its stress points. So basically this wallet is built to withstand the nuclear, nuclear blast. Easy for me to say. Alright, so outside as you can see, well, the color here uh, is the drab green, I guess you could call it, and khaki. And Maxpedition has so proudly put their label right there on front. Now, I'm a big fan of Maxpedition. I got a lot of their stuff. However, what I would have liked to have seen is a little field of Velcro either here or up here instead. So that you could put a small patch or something up there to maybe personalize your wallet a little bit. Alas, no Velcro. So sad. On the back though, you do have this cool little mesh pocket, which I have come to really dig. Uh, it does not go all the way through, it is just a pocket. And what I have found this to be handy for is when I use a debit or credit card, I take the receipt, put it right in there, and it is perfectly safe, it is not coming out of there until I can get home and get uh, the information written down. So that's a neat little feature. Of course you got the total badass Velcro. Plays no games, definitely has some good grip there. And as you can tell from the inside, it looks nothing like the original Spartan wallet. You have two mesh pockets, one here, one here. But uh, before I go on, let, let me tell you, you see you got this little Maxpedition label here. That's why I say here they could have used some Velcro because you, you don't need two product labels on an item this small. I think it's overdone doing that. So, okay, like I said, mesh pocket here, mesh pocket here, pocket here. That's three pockets. Pocket number four. Pocket number five. The money compartment, number six. And if you want to count these three little <clears throat> elastic webbing guys here, that would make nine different slots for you. So let me show you how I put my stuff in this here wallet. Let's see, let's see. Start with the simple stuff. You got some bills. We'll put the bills in the most obvious place. Right in there. Okay. Got my two IDs, my driver's license and my concealed carry permit. Right there. Uh, let me take this moment to answer a question for uh, Mark at Mark Stephen Business. He had asked me when I, how long I had my concealed carry permit or when I got it. 
I'm 30 now, and I probably got it when I was about 22 or 23. The, the reason I got my concealed carry permit is because some asshole who cut my mom off in traffic, and then my mom did what any anybody from Texas did, she laid on the horn. Well, I guess he didn't like having the horn blown at him, so he pulled a gun on her in traffic. And I don't fucking play. So, anyway. Here we got, so like I said, driver's license, concealed carry permit right up front. Two debit cards to my two bank accounts. Right there in the second pocket behind them. Now, those credit cards behind here, let me take these back out. As you can see, those slide all the way down in there, which is fine. Works for me. Okay. Here we have my Sam's Club membership card and my AAA card. And for anybody outside the US who does not know what a Sam's Club is, it is a wholesale store. It is a mostly a grocery store, but they carry a little bit of this, a little bit of that, like most big box stores do. And you buy stuff in bulk. Hard to walk out of there without spending $100, but you can live for months off the shit you get there. Okay, Kroger Plus card and my health insurance card goes right in there. And here is my Barnes and Noble membership card and my Barnes and Noble MasterCard. Goes right down in there. And I do like that they sink well, sink down in there real well and they're not sticking up. Uh, I don't know, it just gives me a feeling of a little more security. Now, when I first got this wallet, I wasn't too sure of what these little three pieces of webbing were. As you can see, they are sewn here. So, I mean, these are, these are pockets. They're, this doesn't go all the way through. So I wasn't sure what to do with these. But I came up with an idea, and I don't know if it's me being clever or if this was its intended purpose. As you can see, I got some coins here. And I hate carrying loose coins in my pocket. So what I do is I got these dollar coins. Those can go there. Take these three quarters. Those can go there. Got these pennies and a dime. That can go there. And they sit down in there real well. And this elastic has some pretty good uh, holding power. So that's how I carry my wallet. That's what I carry in there. Obviously this way and this way has not changed in dimensions. But let's take a look at the thickness. So we've gone from a wallet that was a half inch thick to about seven eighths of an inch thick. And I put in there quite a few bills, some coins, and 10 pieces of plastic, cards and IDs and whatnot. So in my opinion, that's holding an awful lot of stuff in a small package. And all in all, I give Maxpedition a big thumbs up for this wallet total badass. I love it. And I'll be carrying this for a long, long time. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions or comments, want to know anything specific about this that I may not have hit on or didn't think to cover, use the comments down there below. That's what it's for. I'm out of here y'all. Later.